Hello, YouTubers, and thank you for joining us for our weekly interactive coding scenario, courtesy of AMCI. These scenarios are recorded live from our classroom in our weekly group study sessions. Each week, we will cover a different section from the CPT manual, so please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out. As we go through the weekly scenario, please feel free to solve along with us to strengthen your coding skills. Hope you enjoy. Here are the tools you will need to solve the weekly scenarios. Uh, your CPT and ICD-10-CM manual. The current year is preferred. However, if you have older versions, feel free to use them. The TTT manual is ANCI's test taking techniques manual, and it is highly recommended when learning medical coding. And also, if you are in a medical coding career already, it is very useful as well. It is ANCI's test taking techniques and all the important guidelines for procedural and diagnostic coding. It also includes the auditing charts you will see us utilize in our ENM auditing scenarios. You can always download a free auditing chart from the AAPC website. However, if you do prefer the ones that we use, they are included in the purchase of the TTT manual available at amcicoding.com. And this week we will be coding May I ask Ms. Joycey to please read the next scenario for us, please? Sure. Okay, coders, we're going to start with the answers first. A is 93015, B, 93015, modifier 26, C, 93016, 93018, D, 93018. Mr. Weber is experiencing left arm pain while at work. Dr. Reyes scheduled a 30-minute stress test using the bruise protocol at the hospital. There was no arm pain while on the treadmill. He did have a slight heart rhythm abnormality. The patient rested for three minutes. He had no further symptoms or pain. Dr. Reyes supervised the study, interpreted the test, and dictated a report. How would you code the procedure? And you have two, two and a half minutes, coders.
and just in if you haven't done so already and make sure you share your keywords as well. We'd love to see them. And I'm looking at the chat right now and I'm happy to say, wow, you guys got this. Although I do have to say that we are a little bit split on this one and that's okay too. Some of you did say it's either C or D. And I think that's a good indication that you are um, reading forensically, but I do have to point out some things that might help you in solving this one, okay? Um, so if you missed it, please don't worry. And I really am going to try my best to be able to explain this to you, okay? However, if you answered C, then Great job, you guys got it. So that's fantastic. Great coding. All right, okay, so if we take a look at this here, what we have in front of us is the answer choices and it looks like it's coming from one family. So we are going to go ahead and rely on our keywords in this one to make sure that we're not missing anything. So let's go over them. We have a 30 minute stress test, Bruce protocol, hospital, Dr. Reyes supervised, interpreted, and dictated the report. And if we go ahead and move along on the next screen, so you can see the code, um, the family here. All right, but first things first, before I go to this um, code descriptions, I would like to ask you coders, what did you get as your pairing code? or? I mean, I'm sorry, what did you get as your, um, who are you coding for in this scenario? That's what I meant, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead and type them in the chat. All right, now I'm seeing Dr. Ray is coming through, provider. Okay, those are great answers, I like them. Yes, we are definitely coding for Dr. Reyes, okay? And what, um, in which setting? So there's one keyword here too that's really relevant to our coding. So we have to identify when you're coding here, in what setting are we coding for? What is the place for this encounter? All right, and you guys are saying hospital and that is correct. Okay, so those factors, like I said, is going to really help you out in coding this. So. Now we can take a look at our code description. So if you can see, um, it's on one family and this parent code here, 93015, that is coding for cardiovascular stress test. And per that's perfect because that is indeed what we're coding for, looking back in our keywords, right? And we are coding in the hospital and this particular code, 93015, does include using maximal or submaximal treadmill or back bicycle exercise, continuous electrocardiographic monitoring and or pharmacological stress with supervision, interpretation and report. So this indicates that you would code this 93015 if you are coding for both the technical component of it and the supervision, interpretation and report as we always associate them as your professional component. So this treadmill bicycle exercise, this is talking about the machine, the um, electrocardiographic monitoring and your pharmacological stress with supervision, interpretation and report. This is the global um, code that you would use for when that physician, say for example, owns that equipment that is used during the test, okay? However, back in our keywords here in our scenario, it is indicated that this test is done in a hospital and usually what happens in the hospital is that the hospital owns the equipment or the technical component of it all while and when a doctor comes in to do his professional services, then the doctor would be due for his professional service. So um, to simplify things, 93015, you would code for when both the professional or the technical components are met. Now, with that being said, we have to go back to what did Dr. Reyes do and what are we coding him for? So if you look 
add oh sorry let me go first go through all of these codes under this family so like i said 93015 that is for when you use for both professional and technical component now 93016 this is tricky a little bit with the way they word it out, but basically what it means is that you would code this for a stress test for someone or or someone that's doing a supervision only um, without interpretation and report. I know that without there is confusing, but this just basically is telling you that, hey, only supervision, um, this doctor did not do interpretation or report. Say for example, a doctor just came in during that stress test and did a supervision only, then this is going to be your code, okay? And that supervision, as we know, is again, another professional component, okay? If, that, if a certain physician comes in and only is doing that tracing part of it, another professional component, then you would also give that code 93017. Now, if you're looking for the code for that interpretation and report, this is it. That is going to come from your 93018. That's your interpretation and report. And I know it looks very interesting, but like I said, we have to just code it as it is. Okay. So now we can go ahead and look back at our what we have, what we're dealing with in our scenario. So we know that Dr. Reyes is doing. Oops, sorry. Oh, and I have to, before I forget, um, I highly suggest that you also indicate or do a little note um, um, when you or do a little notes or chun your, um, this particular part of your manual so that you would know that you are going to not use modifier 26 for this one. We all know modifier 26 is, right? That's indication for a professional component, but since this family codes are special, they have a specific component and description for each code, then that means that you will no longer need that modifier 26 for this code. So you might, it might be helpful if you actually in, um, indicate that. Okay, just a little bit of tip. Now I'm going back to our key, um, keywords in our scenario here. Again, we know that Dr. Reyes was supervising. He supervised the study, interpreted the test, and dictated the report. So if we focus on what Dr. Reyes is doing, he has done all of the professional services. Okay, is everyone following along? And is everyone agreeing to that? All right, okay, perfect. So that being said, we cannot code it as 93015 because he did not fulfill the technical component of this code, okay? So we can eliminate A, also B, and look at that modifier 26, like I said, for this family, you are no longer, or you will not need to append modifier 26. Like I said, they're very specific and, um, Modifier 26 is not necessary, so we can go ahead and eliminate B. And also, if you look at 93018, I'm just going to go ahead and start there. That is only coding for interpretation and report. Remember, Dr. Reyes did all three, supervision, interpretation, and the dictation. So 93018 will not meet all of the um, Dr. Reyes' services. He won't be paid <laughs> what is due, so we cannot code D as well. So now we're left with 93018, uh, 16. So basically what we're doing here is that we know that we're coding for a stress test. However, we are just basically pulling out the professional services as indicated as in your documentation for Dr. Reyes. So we have a supervision, 93016 is your code for supervision only, okay? so. Definitely we need this, okay, 93016 for supervision. However, since this does not, this code does not come with your interpretation and report and going back at your keywords in your documentation, it is indicated that, like I said, over and over again, Dr. Reyes did three, three main um, significant, significant, 
significant procedures here. You have your supervision, interpretation, and report. So 93016 alone is not will no would would not fulfill those three. So what you do is you pull out your supervision only. That's your 93016. And then you will add your interpretation and report only. So altogether, you have all three. You have your supervision, you have your interpretation, and then your report. So you were able to cover everything for Dr. Reyes. And without being said, C is your correct answer. All right, coders, tell me in the chat, what do you think about this? If you have questions, go ahead and type it in and I'll be happy to answer them. But so far, you guys are saying you got it. Okay, good. All right, then, if you got it, I'm going to go ahead and move along and let's try another scenario. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and join us next week as we code another scenario. If you would like to learn more about AMCI, please visit us at the link in the description. Also, if you have any suggestions or requests, please leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. See you next week. Thank you for watching an AMCI exclusive presentation in partnership with AAPC. Until next time.